Here is the first question. Measure all angles below and write names and size in degrees below each. Here we need to measure the angle A, B, C. Place the center of the protractor at the joining point of A, B and B, C. The joining point is B. So place the protractor at the joining point and measure the angle. Here start from zero, move to the second line. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Here the angle is sixty degree. Sixty degree. Angle is sixty degree. So name the angle. Angle A. B C angle A B C is equal to sixty degree. Next we have to measure the angle E D F. Here the two lines E D and D F meeting at the point D. So angle formed at D. So place the protractor. The midpoint of the protractor on the point D. Start from zero on the line and move towards the second line. Here start zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Then forty one, forty two. So the angle formed is forty two degree. Angle E D E F is forty two degree. Name the angle. Angle E D E F is equal to forty two degree. Next angle is G H I. Two lines G H and H I meeting at the point H. So place the center of the protractor at the joining point H. Then start from the zero, move towards the second line. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, hundred and ten. So the angle measurement is one hundred and ten degree. Angle G H I is one hundred and ten degree. Angle G H I is equal to one hundred and ten degree. Next angle is J K I. Also, we can name it as I K J. Here, J K and K I meets at the point K. So, place the center of the protractor at the point K. Here, start from this side, since the line is at the left side. We have to start from the left side. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. Angle is forty-eight degree. Angle I K J or angle J K I is. Forty-eight degree. Name of the angle is angle J 
जे के आई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट डिग्री विच एम एन ओ here the two lanes mn and on meeting at the point n place the protractor at the joining point n here the angle formed line is on the left side of the protractor so start taking measurement from the left side so start from 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 111 112 113 114 115 116 117 118 119 120 130 140 150 so the angle is 115 degree the angle m n o is 115 degree angle m n o is 115 degree name of the angle is angle m n o angle m n o is equal to 115 degree next angle is angle p q r here the joining point is q place the midpoint of the protractor on the joining point q then start from 0 on the line 0 10 20 30 angle is 30 degree angle p q r is 30 deg- next angle is angle b o y the joining point is o place the center of the protractor at the joining point o then start from the zero on the line 0 10 20 30 angle b o y is 30 degree angle b o y is 30 degree in the next figure there are three angles angle x y z is the large angle angle x y t is the small angle angle t y z is the intermediate angle so we have to measure these three angles angle t y z angle x y t angle x y z here angle formed at the point y so let's measure the angle for that place the midpoint of the protractor at the joining point y then start taking measurement start from zero on the line move towards the second line and third line here start from zero 10 20 30 so the angle t y z is 30 degree angle t y z is 30 degree and Let's take the measurement of angle x y t. For 
for that place the zero line on the line yt then take measurement start from 0 0 10 20 so the angle x y t is 20 degree here we get angle t y z is 30 degree and angle x y t is 20 degree so the large angle formed is 20 plus 30 50 degree let's check is that 50 degree or not so take measurement 0 10 20 30 40 50 so the angle x y z is 50 degree the next question is measure and write all angles of the figure below.